What's going on people? This is Josh Osho and I am Soul Culture. It's it's open, it's it's honest and it I feel like there's no there's no distinction between or differentiation between me and the person you see on stage or the, the sounds that you hear on record. I feel like wherever you see me interacting with the world, you get a strong sense of who I am. Um, and I think that's a huge part of the fact that the way I was brought up was very open and very much about connecting with that part of yourself so for every action there's an equal and opposite reaction and so when you make the decision to make a, an action whatever reactions come as a byproduct that you have to be responsible for them and you have to accept them even if they're uncomfortable and even if you didn't predetermine those things coming and I made a decision to sign my deal I made a decision to take this journey and and, and thus far there's been things that I've been not necessarily uncomfortable with but that I didn't, I didn't predetermine. But in those moments, I think, well, you have a choice. You can pack it all in, or you can keep going. We all have choices, and so I haven't packed it in. I've chose to keep going. So whatever comes, I just, I just take it on the chin. Um, I still get to write and create the music I want to make. I'm still being able to connect with people, and excuse my French, all that other bullshit. Just, I just take it on my back because I am achieving what I set out to achieve. It's just, <laughs> the process is a lot more long-winded and a lot more, has a lot more hurdles than what I expected. But um, yeah, this is just the way life goes. And it's why I called my last record, Life Learning Is Forever, because this journey is a process of, of learning and learning new things and learning things that you didn't ever think you would need to learn. So, um, with, as far as the, as, as the music business is concerned, there's a lot of things I'm learning about myself and the world through the music industry, so I'm just, I'm just taking it in. Oh, this life, oh, this place is... The John Doe EP. Um, the reason why I've called it the John Doe EP, I feel like one of the biggest lessons I've learned as a person as well as a musician is to accept that we're, in, we're no more than mortals, we're no more than vessels and so our existence here is as much about everyone else and everything else as it is about ourselves and the reality that we want or that we want to define or create and so with respect to my music I try and approach it the same way, I try to surrender myself as a vessel as opposed to it being about Josh Osho and it being about this kind of um, image and I don't mean image as far as like dress goes I mean this portrayal that's created by m myself and, and those around me that want me to be something more than just being a messenger um, and I, know, I think the message is always more important than the messenger and I think sometimes, um, especially with music, the emphasis isn't necessarily placed on the message, it's, pe it's placed on the messenger. So it's like, look like this, sound like this, appear like this in the media, appear like this on TV and let's worry about the music later. Whereas once upon a time it was like, make your music and everything else, just let it, you know, let it come. Um, and I, I found, even myself, sometimes I used to kind of put labels of things that like I would start maybe a riff or start a lyric and be like, oh, that doesn't sound like Josh Osho. Who the hell is Josh Osho? <laughs> I am what, what the world makes me or what the universe makes me, not what my small mind that can only perceive 21 years of my life thus far um, uh, discerns. The EP essentially just about anonymity and standing back and, and kind of put into death all the labels and all the titles and all the boxes people want to stick on you and, and sometimes you put on yourself. Um, and so yeah, that's why it's called the John Doe EP. Um, because obviously a John Doe or a Jane Doe is someone that's anonymous, has no, uh, I guess, social or political or, or legal um, standing. It's just uh, a being that exists um, with, no, with no labels. Yeah.